Story time about one of my closest friends who went after my boyfriend while we were dating. This video is also a huge warning to stay away from those boy crazy friends that you have. So in high school, I had this really big crush on this one guy and sooner or later we started dating. And one of my closest friends at the time was really, really happy for me, like happier than me for me. That should have been my first red flag. So already off the bat, she was asking me like super personal questions about him, like questions I can't even restate on here. Like she was legitimately asking me personal questions about my boyfriend. So quite literally the day me and my boyfriend started dating she went and followed him on instagram and spam liked all of his pictures she dm'd him without me even knowing he told me what and when i confronted her about it she was like oh no like i did you a favor i just wanted to see like if he would flirt back like if he was loyal whatever it got like really weird so two weeks into us dating she started to like dress more like me and like look more like me that's when i really knew and i was like okay like weird. he played baseball at the time and she would always like beg me to go to his games like so even when i couldn't go she was like oh well, like do you care if i go i was like yes like i care if you go what so yeah she did go to one of his games without me knowing and i know this because he told me and like after his game she was trying to like hang out with him she was like oh like i'm not doing anything you want to like go get ice cream or something like that and I was, okay, that was, like, the moment I was, like, this girl has no spine. No spine whatsoever. I was, like, 15 at the time. Okay, so, like, the last thing I wanted to do was, like, lose a friend over a guy. So, I kind of just, like, kept my mouth shut until I couldn't. It wasn't even the comments that, like, really pissed me off. Like, for example, she would say stuff like, oh, is he a good kisser? Like, can you help me find someone just like him? Like, stuff, like, comments like that. It wasn't even that. It was what she did before I cut her off. The week before homecoming, she texted me and told me she wanted to meet up and talk. So, we met up at a park near my house and, like, like when i saw her i could just tell that like it wasn't good because she she looked very uneasy so she was like i don't know how to tell you this but like i have a really big crush on your boyfriend and i was like no really as if i couldn't tell so that's quite literally what i said i was like no really like you don't think i noticed that and then what she asked me after that just really grinded my gears she was like i know things are gonna be a little weird between us now that you know i have a crush on like maggie you know i never had a boyfriend i was just wondering like if he could be my date to homecoming you know those moments when you're so flabbergasted, like, you don't know what to say? That was me. Obviously, I was like, what girl? There's like 8 billion people in the world. Why are you choosing my boyfriend? Like, that's so weird. And I never heard anything about her having a crush on him, like, ever before. So, obviously, I was like, no, 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 you can't ask my boyfriend to homecoming. Are you good? We basically got in a fight because of that, because she was pissed that she couldn't ask my boyfriend to homecoming. She got pissed at me because of that. But anyway, we, we started to drift apart, which I was happy about, obviously. She was obviously a terrible friend, but she did teach me something very important about women in general. Girls that are this way from a young age turn out to be the best homewreckers. So if you care about your man and your relationship, you would stay away. Love you. Bye. When I was 17 years old, I had a guy dedicate a song to me. Get ready with me story time. I used to model back in the day, and this is where I met the guy. The crazy part is when I met him, he had a girlfriend. I'm also the queen of rejecting men. And so this guy, nunca le pele. I never gave him the attention. I never thought he was cute. And plus he had a girlfriend. So I didn't even want to mess with that. At one point, his sister and I were really close friends. And she also used to model with us. One thing I forgot to mention is that this modeling was runway modeling so we would basically practice in heels and then every weekend we would go somewhere wherever we were booked and we would model the clothing almost a year into me modeling with this company and this instructor a couple that i've been talking to you guys about basically was in a rough patch they were like on the verge to break up a couple weeks later i ended up finding out that they broke up and i honestly never really had a bond or relationship with him and i never cared to especially because he was in a relationship but because we did model together i would at least say hi we all made sure to say hi to everyone who was a part of the modeling class we would always invite our families and my family consists of my parents and my two brothers so my brother eventually became best friends with the guy who dedicated the song to me it was, we're gonna call him andrew so my brother became best friends with him and i was already really close to andrew's sister because they were best friends and then i was best friends with andrew's sister we would always go to each other's houses whether i was going over to their house or whether they were coming over to my house so i don't know if it's because we all used to hang out a lot that he started to have a crush on me I just remember somebody telling me that andrew has a crush on me and i was like no like this can't be happening especially because i was literally like there whenever he was in the relationship with the other girl you know fast forward maybe a year or two this guy still had a crush on me and i just didn't want to you know put myself through that i didn't want any drama with you know his ex because i don't know if they were still talking behind the scenes 
and again i just wasn't interested in this guy and back then you guys even now like it's so hard for me to actually give a guy the attention like i'm so picky so although i knew this guy liked me i just didn't want to give him a chance so we got to the point where andrew started to shoot his shot on his own because although he knew that i knew that he had a crush on me and other people would tell me and that wasn't working out he took it upon himself to shoot his shot this guy was not giving up you guys i wasn't giving in and he was not giving up he tried everything and anything to convince me for me to finally just give him a chance give him an opportunity but i would not you guys even to this day it's so hard for me to just talk to a guy because if i'm not interested in you then i'm not gonna open my heart out to you you know like i don't want to waste my time and i don't want to waste your time this man was still not giving up and it got to the point where everyone started to get involved and they were like ash just give andrew a chance like he really likes you like he's like your guys's family already knows each other he was like um andrew's family really likes you like he's surprised that you guys aren't even dating right now and i was like oh my god the pressure is so real and i again i just didn't want to like give in you guys and then finally i was like fine i'll give in but it was one of those things where like I gave in and I gave him a chance in a shot, although I didn't want to. So I feel like I forced myself. When you force yourself in a situation, trust me, it never goes right. At this point, we were talking now, and I quote talking because I forced myself in this little relationship or this talking stage. So Andrew and I ended up going out and then we ended up coming back to his house and when we went out, you guys, I wasn't feeling it. I just felt like he was more of a friend than anything else and so I knew the moment that I was going to get to his place, I was just going to tell him that I wasn't feeling it. I want to mention that I did bring it up to him way before that I didn't want to give him a chance because I wasn't feeling it and he kept on like begging me, you guys. He was like, come on, Ash, like just give it a shot, like you'll never know if you don't try and I feel like that's what just made me want to give in so we get to his house and i ended up getting down because i would always say hi to his parents as i was gonna leave he goes let's watch a movie and i was like no it's okay i'm just gonna go home and then he's like no let's watch a movie so i stayed and we watched the movie and tell me why like 10 minutes into watching the movie he leans in and we kissed and i was like oh god no so we kissed and on my end i just didn't feel anything and i guess he felt some type of way when we kissed next day that's when he sent me a message of a song and he goes i'm dedicating this song to you the song is called y cambio mi suerte by virlan garcia the song is really really beautiful before he sent it to me i didn't even know that this song existed nothing ever happened between him and i i just ended up cutting off because i wasn't feeling it and i just felt like it wasn't fair for me and fair for him and yes it might be a little bit messed up that i kept it going this long but to be fair i literally told him that i wasn't feeling it from the very beginning but he was like no ass just give it some time and i was like fine so in a way it was both of our faults that is the end of my story time i hope you guys have a beautiful and lovely day wherever you guys may